There he goes. There he goes, baby. Woo -hoo. Got him. Good morning. It is a slicker out there. Whew. You can see it in the bay. There's not. There's zero wind this morning. But there's some brewers out there. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. I'm gonna get the boat loaded up. Get everything we need in here. We got our gaff, because we're planning on catching some fish, baby. And then let's go get our rods. We get our ice all brewing. Oh yeah. It's about that time. Let's go. Oh, that's the most exhausting part. Fishing. Just putting everything in the damn boat. A good deep dropper. Okay. Some chum. Oh, there's my, there's chum. my squid. Chum. Let's see if I was gonna break off a couple of those things. Are so... Let's grab one more chum just for the sake of it. Chum. All right, let's get my coffee in, let's get some ice, get some food, and then it's time to roll. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Water Life. It is a, it is a glorious day. Pretty slick calm out here in the bay too. Well, that kind of run. But today's a great day to catch the mahi. Um, I usually, not gonna lie, when when summer's here and the mahi are running, I love going offshore and catching them. That's probably one of my favorite things to do. So uh, we're gonna do that today. First, we're gonna try to see if we can get some bait. Um, and then we're gonna head offshore uh, and go do a little bit of a search. So, so if we can find some stuff in the bay, there's been a lot of smaller stuff lately. Uh, we're probably still gonna net them just cause we need something to chum up the water. Uh, we still use our trusty bucktail jig if you guys are not following in the other videos. Um, I always use that white bucktail. But we're going to see if we can find something bigger. Uh, if not, maybe we're going to get some ballyhoo. There have been a lot of muttons on the reef. Uh, at least been seeing them, people catching them. But we'll run for mahi first. And then maybe we'll come back and try to get a mutton. I got the deep drop rod. I got a bunch of stuff today. So um, we're going to get moving here if we get some bait. I'll see you guys at the bait stop. If not, we'll see you guys out in the ocean. Everywhere. There was a lot of bait and a lot of small bait, but we're going to throw down. All right. Get our juju out. We're not looking for any. Any big dog reef. I'm not looking for any reef baits right here. See them all out there moving. They were right under me. But they run and they move. Let's see if we can get some winners. Let's go out there and get them, boys. Run the boat right into them. They're running from me. To be completely honest with you. them right there. Ugh. I don't know if I got any. Prematurely threw and loaded her up, boys. <laughs> yeah. We're not we're not even getting wet today, boys. Look at them all. Oh, there we go. 
Oh. Oof, those are better ones than normal. They're getting a little bit bigger out here. All right, you guys. Let's throw one more time. I seen them. I seen them flicker. Oh, they're there. They're everywhere. There's probably a couple hundred baits. They're not that big, but they are definitely hookers. They've been better than they were in the last couple weeks out here. And they are everywhere. But it is, it is freaking early, man. 7.45. I usually am not out for a while, but well, what do you say? Maybe it's gonna be a really good day when you get some bait real nice and early. All right. And we didn't even, we didn't even get dirty. Oh, that's even better, just a little wet, but. Uh, All right, time to go. All over inlet. It is. It's a little rocky out here. I don't know what's going on today. There's no wind, and if there is wind, it is coming from the south, which is weird, but. We're already in the blue water, baby. It's 700 feet. There's a nice single weed patch. Maybe we'll catch all our mahi right here. I'm manifesting. We don't have to run 77 miles that way. When in doubt, the best thing you can do is throw the trusty black hair. Da -da 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 -da. If anything pops out. There's, there's little baits on here. You never know. Just try to scare them. Scare them into coming and eating. Oh, oh, oh. I think I already hit a mahi. Mahi, boys. What the heck? That could have been a mahi already. Oh. Oh, ah, it is a jack. <laughs> That's a decent sizer. All right, let's keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Oh, I'm feeling them. I'm feeling them. Here we go. I'm feeling the mahi, mahi. We haven't had weed patches all summer long. Come on. Come on. There hasn't been much bait fish on the, uh, on these things. So normally, normally mahi, like just cause there's just because there's weed doesn't mean that there's mahi in this depth. They could be, but typically, like there's a thousand jacks behind me. Typically there has to be some sort of bait fish on it. Like this has a lot of bait fish, this one. So who knows, maybe this one has mahi on it, but. I'm just trying to create commotion. You guys can see all the freaking jacks are nuts. On to the next. My, my. He is going that way. Oh, there he is. There he is. My, he's. Woo -hoo -hoo. Got him. Got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Ah, he's a small guy. Let's see if we can let him go from up here. Don't start bleeding, boys. That's a little mahi. Found one. Saw more though. Nada. 
All right, boys. Well, we got one. That was just way too small. Way too small. And the other one's just jetted, and the other one's just jetted off. Mahi, mahi, mahi. There he goes. There he goes, baby. Woo -hoo. Got him. Woo. I just spit it. There he goes. Another one. They're too small. They, they're not even swallowing it. Try to put some meat in the box. Today has been super small mahi. I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break from trying to catch all these mahi mahi because right now we ain't catching nothing. There we go. There we go, baby. Woo, baby. A little deep dropping. Oh, it's a polar, man. What is that? A little pole? A little pool, baby? Come on. Give daddy some dinner. Give daddy some dinner. Come on. 30 feet. 30 feet. Oh no. I see it. Oh yeah. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, baby. Woo. Double Burmese baby in the boat. Yes. Dinner time! Oh, baby! Baby, baby! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ah, found him. Ah, there we go. All right, boys. Some nice vermilions right there. They're gonna be about 12 inches. Those are well over 12 inch your mark there. Let's go reset, baby. That was instant. That was instant. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh no, no sharks. So random. Whoa, that thing is digging. Damn Benita on the deep drop. That was random. I was gonna say it didn't even hit the bottom. Oh well. Nice little Benita on the deep drop. Back to the bottom, my man. We got another one in the box, boys. Another Burmy in the box. He 
may be a little bit short. We're gonna measure him real quick. He's gotta be 12 inches. He's close, he's thick, but he's close. Uh, and he is to the fork. Uh, he is 11 to the fork. He's gonna go back a little short. We'll go get another one. Oh. Get up here, boys. Yeah. Get up here, boys. In the boat. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. That's dinner size, baby. He is well over 12. You're looking at about 13 inch right there, baby. Another one for the box. The tuna blowing up everywhere here, boys. Oh no, no, oh no, it's gone. Holy goodness. We gotta chase this baby. Now what the heck this is? It's a big ass tuna. There's tuna blowing up everywhere out here. This one is a runner. No doubt. I think we got a big tuna on here. Whew. That's a hog bonita. Oh. No black fin. Check out the size of this freaking bonita, boys. Whew. Whoa! That is why you do not. Put your hand down there. There was a big ass shark falling. Boys, look at the size of this freaking hog bonita right there, baby. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Get away from the sharks. Oh no. No, no. Oh. There he goes. No, get away from him. There's Benita. Check out these sharks. They are not happy. And the, the blackfin are busting over there. Let's go get some more. Before the sharks get him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. No. Oh. 
<laughs> the sharks got him. Uh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Ah. Bonita. <laughs> Where'd the black fin go? I hope you saw that one, baby. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo, let's go. In the box. Well, we almost gave up on that day, but I'll say one thing. Persistence and putting in the time always pays off. We were deep dropping and I turn around and I see, I all of a sudden I see boom, 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 boom. And then I see all the, uh, uh, tuna smack in the surface, uh, grabbed the bucktail, actually I grabbed live bait, threw it out, huge bonito took it down, um, ended up throwing back in, two huge bull sharks were just chasing these things down. Next one I throw it in, bam, black fin on the uh, bucktail jig, he smashed it. I, I did probably two reels, picked them up out of the water and just threw them in the back of the boat because the, uh, the sharks were just freaking on him. Uh, and then the next one caught him. Uh, within two seconds, the sharks just took him down. So that was about it for that. Got another real small bonita. Um, had a bunch of deep drops. Um, but, you know, my fishing has been, been slow. Got that nice blackfin tuna. We got a bunch of vermilions here. Put a catch together for the day. We're gonna slide this guy down here. We're gonna do a little ice bath for these guys. And then uh, we're gonna head it on home. So I like to get this guy down deep in that ice. And then we're gonna take our hose. We're just gonna fill it up with some ice there, some salt water. That usually gets the ice really freaking cold. So, there we go. All right, guys, let's clean it. We're gonna clean up the boat, head on home, and then clean up these fish. We got a nice black fin tuna today. I'm stoked about that one. I love. Nothing's better than a little uh, fresh sashimi and poke bowls. So we'll see you guys back at the house, head on through Hall River Inlet, and let's cook these babies up. Oh boys, I missed that one. We, we were cleaning up the boat and they came back. A little blackfin. What's going on ladies and gentlemen we're back now left all the fish on ice last night uh, i actually left it in the boat um i don't like to flay it too early because then it's like the especially the tuna it's kind of mushy so if you leave it in uh some ice especially that salt brine uh overnight it really really helps so we're gonna grab it out of the boat and it should be nice Frozen. Put a bunch of ice in there. Nice bloody mixture. Oh, it's so cool. Whew. Got all of our snappers. We got two tunas yesterday. It's a big dog tuna. Size guy. Let's see, there's. I'm sure, there's. Yeah. I, knew it. I knew there's one more in there. Oh, that's so cold. Maybe I'll drain out. Let's go take these over to the play table. Big dog. 
big dog tuna from yesterday. I usually just cut right down its stomach like that. Cross. And then I kind of work it down above its rib. Same thing on the bottom side. And then there we go. Bait, bait. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that sashimi, baby. All right, so today uh, we're gonna cook up that blackfin tuna. I actually already ate a lot of it, um, but these are some of the fillets we have left. We are we're gonna do we're gonna do some sushi rolls. So let me show you guys what I'm working with. Some easy stuff today. I have this is a, a nori like the seaweed actual wrap. Um, I already pre-cooked. Uh, some jasmine rice, got a little bit of soy sauce, cucumber, and then we're going to make some spicy mayo right here. Um, this is all you really need to do that. And then I actually had avocado too, somewhere around here. There it is. Um, we're going to add to the rolls. So we're going to do two different rolls today. I'm going to do a cucumber, avocado, tuna roll, and then I'm gonna do a uh, spicy tuna roll as well. So I'm gonna chop up all this and get it, get it started and then show you guys how we're rolling it. We're gonna do our two different rolls. We, we chopped up uh, a bunch of uh, tuna chunks and then I'm gonna make spicy mayo with this. So all we need for the spicy mayo is mayonnaise, right? And then you can just put this regular sriracha in here. Really easy. Uh, I just like to mix it around. You can kind of see, you could pre-mix it if you want. It doesn't really matter. This is probably a little too mayonnaise-y, but I'm gonna show you guys how we fix that. So we have, you guys can get these off Amazon. These are like rolling sheets. These are actually uh, plastic. They have wood ones too, but these are way easier. Um, you got your nori sheets. They're actually not hard at all to work with. Um, trick here is do not use the full sheet. I just like cut it right in half. So I'll just use my knife. Try not to shred it into, into two pieces. Oh. When you use, well, I screwed that one up. When you use the full sheet, it just, you end up wrapping so many times it makes it a pain in the ass. So there's a smooth side and then there is a rough side. The rough side is what I'm um, putting the rice on top of. So this is probably, if it was cooked the day of, it's a little bit better, it's a little bit stickier, but this will still work. So I just put a little bit of rice on there, kind of press it down into the mat. We got that. I have my, my plastic rolling mat here. I'm just gonna flip this baby upside down. And then we're gonna use, we got our spicy, spicy tuna. Kind of work that in there. And then this is the difference maker. Use panko, it's like tempura fried. It's kind of like tempura flakes. I'm gonna probably order some, but it kind of sucks up the moisture there. So we're gonna do that. And then I literally, if you guys see it on the wrap, I'm literally just going to curve Curl this over like that, press it, move the sushi roll up. There you go. Nice, easy sushi roll. Roll. I probably could have put a little bit more um, rice on it, but that's all right. And then we're gonna do our next one here. We're just gonna do same thing, sticky, or 
rough side with the rice. There we go, making a mess. That's what I know how to do. And I pre-cut, this is the craziest part, is that these are pre-cut uh, pieces of tuna, and this is a lot of tuna. So you can imagine if you're buying tuna at the, at the sushi restaurant, they're not giving you that much. Uh, we're gonna do a little cucumber on this one. I may even just skip the avocado for time. Takes like nothing to make a sushi roll. I'm just slicing this cucumber up here. A couple pieces. Boom. Same thing. Blitz roller. Press it. Pull it over. There we go. There's another sushi roll right there. All right, guys. We got our we got our three tuna rolls. We got our hand roll, spicy tuna roll, tuna. We're gonna cut these babies up. We're gonna top them, and then we're good to go. So the knife has to be sharp. I actually ordered another knife. If your knife is not sharp, you're going to massacre your sushi like that. Damn it. That is the key. I could have done a much better job here. Oh well. It all goes down the same hole and tastes okay. So, we're gonna top all of these. I love the crunch. Got our little bit of a crunch there. We got our hand roll crunch. And then, wasabi. Soy if you want it. We don't really need it. And then this is the eel sauce, baby. Oh yeah. There we go. So you guys can see them. Nice piece of sushi. This is a spicy tuna roll. And look at that. I mean, I could have done presentation much better. I have done presentation much better, but they are going to taste fantastic. So you guys can see sushi is really not that hard. I literally did it in like two minutes. Um, it is a mess. There's rice everywhere, uh, but it does taste good. Um, it's really easy. And if you're catching it, if you're catching, you're, if you're catching uh, that raw, raw black bean, I definitely recommend it. It's my favorite way to eat it. So we are gonna do, this is the spicy mayonnaise right there. Spicy tuna roll. Fantastic. Doesn't get much better than this. Then tuna cucumber. Could have put an avocado on. I was just lazy. Do a little wasabi. Mm. Mm. Cannot beat it. Quick. Easy filling, and these rolls, this would have cost like $60 at the store. I mean, it only cost me probably $150 in gas, but whatever. I'd rather pay the gas than and get to go fishing than just buy the sushi. But thanks so much for watching, guys. More fishing and boating videos on the way. This is Blue Water Life. Yeah.